Hey everyone, Dr. Zeo here again, and today we are here to talk about Power Rangers Cosmic Fury and the news we got yesterday in the middle of the morning and at, during the Hasbro Pulse live stream. So first things first, during the early morning, E, I think it was, had an exclusive story that revealed some details about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always special, which we'll talk about in a later video. But at the end of the article, they also showed us our final look at the Power Rangers Cosmic Fury original costumes, at least in their conceptual stage. Basically the same uh, drawings we've seen for the last few months. And so we got to see everyone, including my girl Amelia, as the new Red Cosmic Fury Ranger. Yes, for the first time in 30 years, we are getting a full series long, you no know, full length series long female Red Ranger that has not been done before in Power Rangers or in Super Sentai. That's a huge milestone because we've had previous female Red Rangers. We've had Charlie in SPD. We've had Lauren in Samurai. And But those Red Rangers, they weren't Red Rangers for the full duration of the series. Whereas this time around, Amelia is going to be Red for all of Cosmic Fury. And that's great. Now, Zato, though, Zato will be upgrading from, or I guess maybe not upgrading, maybe downgrading. We don't really know what his status exactly is. Um, he is going to be, or Amelia is red, and she's also going to be the leader, which is confirmed both in the live stream as well as on Twitter, a Twitter conversation between Hunter Dino, Amelia's actress, and the series executive producer, Simon Bennett. But Zato will be changing from the red outfit. He'll be getting a more brownish champagne colored outfit with he's still keeping the cape that we saw with his ghost ranger outfit from the season two finale of dino fury but he'll be changing that and he'll be, now be dubbed as the zenith ranger that's something we learned in the live stream now continuing on with the live stream we also saw another we, well, we saw our first look at the rangers themselves in costume on set. So we saw Amelia in her Red Ranger outfit. We saw Zato in his Zenith Ranger outfit. And we saw everyone else in their outfits as well. And they look bad. They look bad. I don't I don't like the Cosmic Fury suits in act or in person. They have like I've already mentioned this when we talked about Ollie's Blue Ranger reveal a few months back. I said at the time that the chest piece just looks very plain even with that silver piece on the right hand side it still looks very plain there needs to be something that needs to break up the monotony of that you know chest piece and here it gets slightly worse because we now have padded i guess muscles for the men and padded boobs for the women i'm like why did we why was that necessary like i don't understand that um but yeah, it just it doesn't fix the design problems of the suits. And even then, the material that they use for the chest pieces and even the legs, it looks very just it looks bland. It has like a matte finish to it. Like I think the suits would look a lot better if they were shiny. Like the the concept art had a shiny look to it. And even that, even though I don't necessarily like the chest piece on the concept art, the shiny look was very appealing. Whereas in this one, it just comes off as very the, the, the in-person look just comes off as very dull. And I don't I don't like it at all. Um, but we also got to see a uh, new look at their morphers that are on their wrists. And Simon Bennett also let us know during the live stream that the morphers also function as blasters to use during long-range combat. Interestingly enough, our boy Javi, who's going to be the Black Ranger, has his, his arm looks to be robotic. Whereas no one else's does. I'm wondering, what's the deal there? We're going to learn more about that maybe in the months leading up to Cosmic Fury's debut this fall. Or maybe we'll learn when the series starts itself. Maybe they'll just keep that under wraps for now. But why does his arm look robotic? I mean, does he actually have a robotic arm? Does something happen to him? Or maybe it's maybe he needs that to properly hold his axe, which we don't have a name for yet. Maybe it's a Stego axe or something along those lines, you know. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, get more information about that. And just more information about Cosmic Fury in general. Um, speaking of which, Amelia's weapon is called the Ankylo Hammer. So yeah, and this will also be the first time 
a Red Ranger in the series has not been based on a uh, on a what's it called on a Tyrannosaurus. So yeah, again, we're breaking grounds with Co Cosmic Fury as we did with Dino Fury. So this is exciting. Um, but yeah, I again, I don't like the look of the new suits. I'm interested in seeing how they look in action on set, especially with the helmets, because we have not seen the helmets in person yet. Um, in the video, if you look off to the left into the Dino Henge base itself, it looks like the helmets are sitting on a table there, but we don't really get a good shot of them. So hopefully everything looks better as we, once we get the full package with the Rangers with the suits and the helmet on, but I'm not holding out any hope. But let me know what y'all thought about the reveal, the suits concept versus the actual in-person suits in general. What y'all think about the morphers being morphers and blasters and what you think about Javi's arm. Let me know what y'all think about all of that in the comment section below. Until next time, as always, please like, subscribe, and comment because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching and ciao.